Hello everyone, welcome into Above My Pay Grade. My name is Eric. If you watch this channel for any length of time, you know I like to talk about college loans because it's a whole crock of baloney. Um, the whole system's messed up. It has perverse incentives. It's all under the auspices of helping out. We want to help those kids get an education in underwater basket weaving or German polka history or whatever other useless skill they want them to get and pay a buttload for it. But as you know, uh, Joe Biden is trying to <clears throat> forgive student loans. But if you didn't know, the Department of Education and the loan program that the federal government insures costs the federal government money. They need to make a profit or it costs them money, if that makes sense. And so in the last couple years, as student loans have been paused, this education department is losing money because they still have to pay their employees, their employees who are probably doing nothing. And if uh, the government's good at anything, it's a make work program. We will pay you to dig the hole and fill it back in. But um, I've got some notes here. In the last 25 years, they were supposed to profit, the Department of Education was supposed to profit money. 114 billion, according to their, their models. Notice the government use a lot of models and they're always wrong. Hmm. And now they're at a net loss of 197 b -b 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 billion dollars. Billion dollars. And at this point, when we say billion, it's fiscal dust, right? Just add it to the pile, add it to the pile. I'm gonna talk about here in a second why it matters, okay? A lot of this extra cost came from pausing payments because if people aren't making their payments, they're not paying interest and therefore there's no profit and the government still has to pay the employees <coughs> and the building costs and all that kind of stuff. So originally, um, government was supposed to profit <coughs> $6 for every $100 they loaned out. And at this point, they are losing nine for every $100 they loan out. They are losing $9 for every 100 they loan out. Hmm, another government program that loses money. Who would have thunk? And there's 107, 100.7 trillion dollars of student loans out there. So what happens when Biden forgives student loans? We add it to the tab, just put it on our tab. It's a credit card, okay? So when the government promises these things, like <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about tomorrow probably, the um, Inflation Fighting Act or something that Congress is trying to pass, <laughs> It's all baloney. It always is. But the point is, where do they get the money? That's the question you should always ask yourself. Where do they get the money? They either have to take out debt or they have to tax people. One of those two things needs to happen. The other thing is when they take out debt, they have to sell it to people. Meaning, can I borrow money from you? So they ask people to borrow money from by selling treasuries. And there has to be a buyer for those treasuries. What happens when there's not one? We've never really answered that question. What happens when there's not a buyer for treasuries? And why wouldn't there want to be a buyer for treasuries? This goes back to my video yesterday. If the interest rate sucks, why would anybody want to buy a treasury? Why would anybody want to buy government debt? Exactly. And so add it to the pile of government losses, add it to the deficit, but in reality, you got to think about college loans. They're bigger than credit cards and car loans. So they're a huge, massively huge part of the economy. And do you think um, Biden pausing them increased people's purchasing power? You don't always have to give people money to increase purchasing power. You can take away debt too, which also increases purchasing power. Who would have thought? So August 31st comes around. It's a pretty big day because that 1.7 trillion and many millions of Americans, 40 million plus who have student loans have to start either paying or it gets extended, which would increase inflation. 100% will increase inflation if they forgive student loans. It will 100% increase inflation because it increases purchasing power in the hands of everyday Americans, which increases inflation. But right now, the pause is also uh, increasing inflation. So if they don't pause it and they start back up again on September 1st, 
Expect purchasing power to go down, which would be good for inflation. Um, but it wouldn't be good for a recession. It would not be good at all. Um, I find it uncanny that everything the government touches in an effort to help always costs them money. And if you're one of those people that maybe doesn't care or whatnot, and you think, well, the government can just take on more debt. Actually, no, they can't. It's just like you. You have to have somebody buy that debt or willing to loan you money in order for you to take on debt. If no one's willing to loan you money, you can't take on debt. And the number of people that want to loan the United States money is dwindling rapidly, rapidly. And so as they're digging the hole deeper and they're telling everybody, everybody it's okay, there is no magical piggy bank. They have to sell the debt. Who's going to buy it? It's becoming fewer and fewer. Nations don't want to buy it. Individuals are slowly not going to want to buy it. And back to my video yesterday, they're going to force people to buy it. That's their only option. They have to force people to buy it. They can't incentivize by raising the interest rate because they go broke. They have to force people, especially with stuff, with crap like this, adding to the pile. Just add it in. Inflation fighting bill. Um, do you guys want to heat your home with unicorn farts? We'll fund it. Do you want to learn how uh, the Amazon butterfly mates? We'll fund it. They'll fund it all because there's no accountability because it is an endless piggy bank to them. But uh, it's not to us. Every time the government spends, and last thing I'll say here, at no point have you heard, at least I haven't, one thing out of the mouth of a politician about stopping government spending. Stimmy checks, college loans, um, the getting credits for your fuel in California. But at no point do they say, you know what we should do? Cut the state or federal budget in half. Fire half the workers. Why not? That decreases taxes, decreases um, the weight on people because you don't have to fund such a behemoth. But that's never the answer. No, 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 no. We need to make this behemoth bigger. We need to fund it more. And we need to find out what those Amazon butterflies are doing down there. Ridiculous. Let me know what you think about this education uh, department losing money. And if you think, if they forgive student loans, if it would actually help or hurt the economy. My contention is, whether it hurts or not, or helps, it's going to hurt inflation for sure. It's going to make inflation go up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys in the next one. Peace.